You're on. Good evening. It is the 19th of January. And this is the meeting of the Tuffin Borough Budget Committee. Uh, we'll begin with the uh, determination of a quorum, which we have, and the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. That's the first time you said that since the sixth, Gordon? I beg your pardon? That's the first time you said that since the sixth? I think it is. Okay, public input. Forthcoming, we'll move on to the uh, approval of the minutes for the January 5th meeting. Anybody see anything that jumped out of them? I have no comment. I have no comment. Okay, then none forthcoming. I'll uh, have a motion to accept. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. I'll second that. Who's the second? Gary? Aye. Chip? Aye. Gary? Yes. Helen? Yes. Bob? Yes. Penny? Yes. Chair Gosad? Uh, I don't have any other chairman's comments at this particular point in the evening. So we're going to move on to the, uh, to the Warren articles, mm -hmm. discussion of those. At which point I'll have, I would have to uh, pretty much turn it over to uh, Chip. Okay, we did this up a little bit in the this year just so we can see the illustration and how it all plays out. Because some of these are a little bit convoluted. Starting out with Lake Road Design and Permitting at $25,000. That's the permit for a uh, bulkhead replacement and um, drain <coughs> drainage for the uh, lake road in uh, Melbourne. That's for $25,000 and it would mean $25,000 in new spending. And if you look at the new spending line, that's what's hitting the tax bill. Did you just say that, that trip, you said it's coming from taxes, right? Right. The 20, did you get a copy of this, Gary? Yeah, I have it. I have it. I just, it just, your words just dropped off a little bit. All right. The last sentence that you said. Um, I think you're saying that the new spending is all coming from taxation. That's correct. Okay. So it, it would be a twenty. It would be twenty-five thousand dollars for the permitting process. The permits last for three years, five years. I'm sorry. So we look forward to actually doing that job in 2022 or 2023 depending on how <coughs> 19 mile bay or 19 mile pier plays out we have the money for that permitting process in hand Sure, but my time's changed. I think those permits are good for seven years. Well, I'll double check. I thought it, uh, I was told five, but it's more, okay. it's more than one. Yeah. All set. Okay, the next one is the uh, Milfoil Expendable Trust, and that is. Okay. That's I'm it's Milfoil. It's type Milford. Right. It's, <laughs> I was really confused by that. Milfoil. Jesus. All right, that's an in and out. We're gonna put a warrant article for the cost of seventeen thousand. We're getting a grant back for seventeen thousand. And that will go into the expendable trust fund for the milfoil control that we're doing. 
we uh, discussed the highway garage heat and felt that there were construction issues that needed to happen in addition to that, so we did not bring that forward. The radios are for the fire department, and the cost on those are $120,000. There's a current um, grant, <coughs> excuse me, grant application in process, which would pay $90,000 of that $120,000, which means that $30,000 would hit the tax rolls. The uh, and we can we haven't put the wording together. <coughs> Excuse me. But the wording for that warrant article would read $120,000 with the expectation of 90. And if the 90 doesn't show up, we're not going to spend that. I mean, it's going to be premised upon that $90,000 grant. So mm -hmm. uh, you show when you when the warrant article is written, mm -hmm. you show at the gross. You have to show the gross. And then where is the money coming from? And then you illustrate or right. state how where the money's coming from. And then it passes the, the muster with DRA. But if the money doesn't come in, then you don't have enough money to do the gross. Right. So it's, it becomes moved. Now, what are the odds are you going to get the grant, or do you have any odds? Uh, the odds are really good. Okay. Um, and we're working through the grant process now. We had a little uh, hang up in that we, our police chief is the prime mover on our federal grant money. And there was some confusion about the language and who was doing it. And it wasn't going smoothly, but I think we smoothed it out last Friday. There was some, I don't know, so usernames or something that was. If you don't get the grant, what happened to that? It's just you're not doing that this year? Or right. You've got $30,000. Right. 30000 $30, We're going to fund for. Still goes in. Well, no, we can't. I don't know. We can't do it that way. The 30000 just gets. Nullified yeah. goes into the undesignated the fund balance. Thing is basically nullified at the grant. Yeah, because we can't spend the thirty or even sequester the thirty. If you will, we have to go through this whole process again. The next article would be the fire truck, which is our payment the one twenty four six twenty five as interest and principal. We paid off the ambulance, so that's no longer with us. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, there is grant money available for new fire equipment as an engine or a ladder truck. Right. And will you be applying for that grant? When, once we, as, well, in order to apply for the grant, we have to be prepared to buy. Mm -hmm. And we're not, I think it's two years away. I have to check with the, but we're not ready to replace an engine quite yet. So we can't really apply for the grant, mm -hmm. figuring that we're going to replace the engine in 2024. I see. But we will when we do that. Okay. And I think when we get to that place, we talk a lot of, like we're talking about the police department pretty soon. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to put some money away going forward and then buy a fire truck and hopefully get some So this is a capital reserve fund? The 124? No, the 124 is, is the payment on the... On the okay, no, that's what, that's what I thought. It was just right. payment. Okay, we're, when she started talking about... She's talking about a different fire truck. Fine, thank yeah. you. Is that the last thing on that fire truck? No. Uh, no, there are two things. A couple more? Two more. This year and next year. This year and next year. Right. right. So we wouldn't be replacing the other fire truck until we pay this off? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, the SCBA replacement is the breathing apparatus that the firefighters use. We've been putting money aside for quite some time. We've got $219,470 in the uh, capital reserve for that. 
which leaves us $28,530 to finish the purchase. And we went through the, the mathematical and oral discussion about putting the 28 into the capital reserve and do it next year. But the, the devices that they have now, uh, the expense to run another year with them is going to be close to $40,000. So we're going to bring that capital reserve forward. And, okay, and there is grant money available for this item as well. I'm sure there is. I mean, you know, so. Well, grant money comes and goes. You right, I understand, but I just looked at this recently. Really? Mm-hmm. Because I don't know. So you're saying we should offset the 28? I'm yeah. saying maybe it would be a good idea for, for 40, the cost of 40000 versus whatever the grant money could be should be reviewed and see if he can start this grant process because he may not do it for six months or nine months. Right. I'm just making an, you know, right. a conversation. Right. Yeah, I think the, the lifespan of the current equipment is done. Mm -hmm. And so the and the cost is not recoupable. So if if we spend the forty grand, it's next year's it's gone, expense yeah. is gone. Mm -hmm. um, and I and it may have been, and I, I wish Adam were here. He's not. Uh -huh. um, that where we put a couple hundred thousand dollars away that he just didn't borrow to to get a grant to get a grant, which I think we'll have a chat with him about that because. Let's say there were a hundred thousand dollar grant, but we could keep a hundred thousand of the two nineteen. We don't have to spend the whole capital reserve mm -hmm. on this if we can do that. But I, I wasn't aware and I, I apologize. I that grant that, that's available now includes the um, I don't know the exact name of what it is the apparatus that they would use to refill the bottles. Right. That yeah. comes with it as well. Right. Yeah, this Two uh, forty-eight is the com is the complete system. Okay, thank you for your information. And we have a little bit of time before town meeting, so we maybe we'll explore doing that grant as well, because it you know, will get a little clearer, maybe a little less clear when we go forward. But I, I we've made the decision to push the business portion of the town meeting into May. Mm -hmm. So we do have some opportunity between March and May to to modify not modify these but amend these if you mm -hmm. will. Okay, paving. Um, we've increased so that we can include um, finishing Dame Road, finishing North Road and preparing a couple other roads. So we're gradually increasing that paving budget. Um, I don't have it in me, but I'm sure it's somewhere here. What we spent last year. Is that 250 last year? No. Mm -hmm. Something. We'll look it up. Univac here. Um, road preparation and paving was 290. So we pushed that up by $80,000. And we also used 3500 from the block grant. Right. That was outside the budget. Right. And, and we do that annually because we do get the highway block grant that comes through. Are we still in a catch up mode on that, uh, on the paving overall in terms of the future planning? Because we were behind, we right. considered we were behind. We had a paving study done as well as a culvert study, mm -hmm. but we're still working on catching up on both of those. Both of but all of that information is getting plugged into those so that we can have an ongoing mm. chart of events, yeah. if you will. All right, 
We also wanted to spend $52,000 on guardrails, but I'm going to not get to that. The uh, police cruiser is being held off for a year. Okay, can I may offer something? Sure. There's a uh, police cruiser grant, and uh, the company Walmart is also willing to put money towards police cruisers. Yeah. So that might be something to okay. look at if it's been put forward. And Walmart? Mm-hmm. And there are other companies that offer grant money for that type of thing. Okay. So what might happen, I mean, I, I, let's finish and then we'll, we'll come back to that. Okay, the next item is the police facility at a million six. We've got 1,314,258 in grants and undesignated fund balance, which would leave 285,742 um, to be raised by taxes. We currently have, or at the end of 20, 19, we have $1,130,229 in our undesignated fund balance. I'm sorry, say that again. $1,130,229. My back of the cocktail napkin assessment is that 2020 is going to garner about another $200,000 to that figure. So we should end 2020 with 1,200,000. So if we take 400 of that and apply it towards the police department, that would leave us 800,000. And how does that, um, is, is that within the yeah. parameters that are set by? Yeah. But, uh, well, yeah. you don't have to have anything in your Well, I know, months, but, but they have guidelines. Yeah, we have a $4 million budget, so $800,000 is 12%, I'm guessing, that's uh -huh. somewhere in there. Exactly. You know, they'd like between 10 and 20, so. But I mean, if you drop below 10 for a year, that's another, I, I'm not sure that if it's, it's a it's field court, but just so we're clear on how we're going to go forward, we're also going to hold a bond here for 600, and, the 400 plus the 285, 742, so $485,000. So, so the discussion can continue to be had of whether to finance the um, police station over a short term, say a 10 year bank note, or pay for it with cash. According to my philosophically opposed one. <laughs> the time value of money should. Time value of money. So, so that's going to happen. The other thing that. You know, I thought we had a good interest rate for it. Thank you. Right. So we have $681,149 in capital reserve right now. Correct? Right. 606. I have a, where's that note? I'm just looking at the sheet that we have here. $664,257.84 is the real number. Well, where are we getting 681,149? I don't see the 681. The sheet that I have that was given yeah. in our package. It's under the notes oh, column. The notes column. Yeah. And Kathy told me Kathy told me that number had I think been updated by the uh, by the uh, trustees of the trust fund. Okay. So that should maybe that's your true figure now, sixty eight one forty nine. It could be because I've got six sixty four two fifty seven. Okay, so let's let's be let's be on the kind side. Say six eighty one one forty nine. Yeah. And the two hundred fifty thousand dollar grant is. Guaranteed money? That's in hand. That's in hand. Yep. And there's another grant that 
if we push the business meeting out into May, we're currently working on another grant which could generate another two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that's kind of why it, it gets a little convoluted. If, if we get that other grant, now we want to go out into the marketplace for two hundred thousand dollars. I mean, I you see what I'm saying? If, if we can reduce the amount of money that Well, if we get another two hundred fifty thousand dollar grant, that's going to bring the new spending down to eighteen thousand, nineteen thousand, nineteen thousand dollars. So why are you holding a bond hearing if you're asking everybody to pay two hundred sixty nine thousand dollars out of taxes? We're holding a bond hearing because of timing. We may elect not to do a bond. We may elect to do one. But if we don't hold a hearing, we can't do one. Yeah. So that's, that's Gee, I've never heard of that before. So we're also, I'm just going to go all the way to the bottom and then we can kind of see. Okay, that's fine. I'll let you go ahead. So we're also putting together a uh, Warren article for three hundred thousand dollars for the capital reserve for the police department. In the event that it just can't be done in twenty twenty one, we need to put a little more cash away for twenty twenty two. Um, so why do you not have it in your new spending column? Because I want to keep the spending column, because we're not going to put it in there. Yeah, because you don't want to tax well, something no, that if, might not happen. It, you got wow. 285 currently if we build a police department. If you don't, you got 300, so you add 15,000 to the, to the uh, 863 bottom line, basically. So then we, let me just finish up. So then we have a contingent contingency fund, which is five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, that goes directly back into the undesignated fund balance at the end of the year if we don't use it. <coughs> so there's no taxable consequences. So the bottom line on our proposed more articles, <coughs> excuse me, is eight hundred sixty-three thousand eight hundred ninety-seven, which brings us back to our discussion about financing. Last year, our gross war articles were $977,193. So we're about $107,000, $106,000 lower than last year. So when we add the operating budget, which is increased by $77,000, and, and put it together with the war articles, we're still within pennies of where we were last year. So you've got flat funding, basically. I'm not sure, and I'm going to end my presentation, so Gordon can weigh in. I'm not sure I'm in agreement with financing when you're not pushing the budget number. You're, on the one hand, pushing the um, indebtedness on your ongoing expenses out for, for what purpose? Because we're not effectively growing the budget, if you will. We're not adding so much to the warrant and so much to the operating budget that it's a major increase over, or even a minor increase for that matter, over last year. It should be pretty close to last year's spending warrant and budget. So Budget committee, you guys can let me know what you want to do. Chip, I'm not sure I understand your comment on the uh, uh, the five thousand dollars for contingency. Uh, it seems to me that the money may very well end up in the designated fund balance, but you still have to raise it. So shouldn't that be in the new spending column? No, it's not the way we let you do it, Gary. For whatever reason, it, also. 
it goes into the income side, but every time we put the Warren article together, it hasn't had a tax consequence. We'll, we'll, we'll okay. double check this. I didn't know that. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So that's the dog and pony show I brought to you this evening. So is the only thing that is likely to hold this up on the on the uh, police uh, facility until 2022 is just that it just doesn't get approved or some other hiccup? No, we're still negotiating with, and they're doing test fits next week over there. I need a lot more solid number, and I think a million six is about two hundred thousand dollars. Or no, they were at a million eight, and I'm a mm -hmm. we're at a million six. So we need to get that number a lot more solid. And I think we're testers still on that piece of property a while yeah. back. They wanted to do some some more for whatever reason. Uh, I, I know there were some. some we did. Stuff. We did test this on that property. Yeah. And then, if, and then if the grant situation looks as though it needs to get extended out, if, if we can apply for a grant and pick up a quarter of a million dollars, but it's going to push us out into the middle of the summer before we can start, yeah. You know, I don't want to. It's not really cost effective to be building in the winter, so. Right. So I'm just wondering if we're, if you're pretty close to just making the uh, decision that it all seems to be centering on this uh, second grant. Not really. I mean, I if we didn't get the grant at all, I'd be ready to go tomorrow. But, I mean, there are okay. all, we don't know what this, the pandemic's going to do well, to the well, anything, but the I, the I like to borrow it. <coughs> I'd like to proceed with this number, this $800,000 number. That's the selectman's preferred position. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And if if the um, budget committee feels strongly about financing the, the police station at Port Zero, it, it comes down to two things as far as I'm concerned. A, are there other are there other things that we're not doing with the undesignated fund balance that we should be doing? Or that's A. And B, in light of everything that's been going on in the world, is the money going back in the taxpayers' pockets for the short, short term more beneficial than taking, say, a five-year note? Right. Well, what? I, I'm, I, I would like to see the tax rate stable, and uh, I think that the uh, PIP reported that the uh, tax rate is driven by the uh, the county and the school is um, is actually coming down a little bit. I don't know if the schools coming. The schools not coming down here. Yeah. Well, the uh, the total the total tax rate I think for next year and the year after was a little lower. No, not the. School. I don't have that. I don't know where it was coming from. No, what I'm saying is we may not have to put anything back into the tax base uh, if you want to just keep the, the tax rate uh, somewhat level over the next two years. It's the, the tax rate for 2020 for the schools came down from 2019, right. but it right. is going up in all the years going out. I'm gonna, I'll get the page up. Mm -hmm. Well, two things to consider. One is you're looking at another fire engine two years out. You're also looking at 19 mile pier, which is probably going to be more expensive than, well, I know it's going to be more expensive than Lake, than Lake Street, but it's probably going to be in the three, three, $350,000 range to do that project. Um, and you have, you know, equipment replacements that CIPs put out there will happen <coughs> over, over time. So I guess and I don't have well, 
to it or can look at it now. If you look at the uh, um, cost to finance the ambulance, which was $87,000 a year, principal and interest. We've eliminated that debt because <clears throat> it made the last payment. Um, I tell you a note on, on $600,000 or $700,000. So if you took the <clears throat> $400,000 that we were going to take out on designated fund balance, and the 285 balance, you now got 685. If you spread that out over 10 years of interest, you're probably less than the previous ambulance payment. Well, I would never, I would never advocate stretching that kind of those cars out, for, you know, those numbers out for 10 years. Hmm. That's a five-year note, as far as I'm concerned. But my, my point is that. <coughs> One way or the other. I mean, if we get this, if we get a secondary grant, then we're home free. Right. Okay. Then, I would say, you know, I'll, I'll bring the shovel. I'll I'll turn over the first piece of soil myself. Because and that that cause that's a no brainer. But as we're sitting here right now, by the figures I'm looking at, we're going to six hundred sixty-eight thousand dollars of new money. New money in the fact that we're not that we're going to not return that four hundred thousand dollars of taxpayer. Correct? Right. The way it's structured on this page, 400 is coming out of, and is, you've already paid exactly. 100,000. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And then you're adding additional tax. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that's just, that's, that's enough that I would have, I would have liked to see spread out a little bit myself. Okay, then that brings us back to the 300,000 capital reserve for the police station. Because Gordon, probably better than any of us, although we're all there together, understands that if we go to finance the police department, then we're going to need a two-thirds majority vote at town meeting. That's a pretty big hurdle. And if we don't get it, I don't think we can afford to have a year where nothing at all happens in the police station. So we need to at least have that other Warren article in reserve so that if the building in our article fails, that we have more capital reserve coming in. I think that we have done that in the past where you've had if you the one that this. says if the library, it said if the library fails to pass, then we right. can put away the, mm -hmm. right. the capital reserve. And you don't actually have to word it that way. You just have to be on your toes at town meeting so that if, there's, if it fails, then, or if it doesn't fail, but when the 300,000 comes up, you say, it's going to move. It's mm -hmm. moved. Nobody moves it, nobody seconds it, mm -hmm. goes away. But it's only if you're going to finance that money that you have to have the right. dollar. So if you just put it up there if and you do say it this it's way, going to we're come. Right. Right. So you're saying right now that this 268 is not going to be financed, but it's going to come out of taxes. Right. Yeah, we would do it the same way. This plan is essentially the same thing that we do with the library. Although yeah, instead no, of no, using, no, no, no. using capital reserves, how is it different for you? You didn't have a million you didn't have more than a million dollars of cash. No, that's from think, outside. Think think outside the, the numbers. Of okay, I, I am thinking outside. Okay, so it's have, not it's not quite the same. <clears throat> well the numbers aren't the same. Okay, no, you get the true the, numbers, but the act is the same. Fine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. But it's it's kind of apples and oranges, but that's, I don't want, that's a debatable point that nobody's going to win on. So, let me just look
Chip, you, you said we've got a million six in here for the cost, but you're saying it's, it might be a million eight? No, it's not going to be a million eight. Okay. Well, didn't you say that they were? Oh, well, that's what they came in with. But, uh, the, oh. They had the, uh, it's a 4,500 square foot building. They had the uh, electrical cost of $175,000. I think that's a little high. And the heating cost of $220,000. I think that's a little high. More importantly, they had the uh, general contractor work, the excavation septic system, at $600,000, I think it was, $600,000. And you and I can go rent a couple of pieces of equipment and we have to do it for a couple of hundred grand in my pocket. So we've, we've sent them back to get better numbers. Have you got, have you got, uh, you haven't got a final number? No. No. Do you want to just look at the numbers here a little bit more? Sure. You said, yeah, right. What's the timing to get on the second grant? I mean, when will the bill come along? Uh, they just applied the, the grant applications are due in March, and it's awarded in uh, the end of April, 1st of May, somewhere in that. Um, so it's really so in our best interest. You said right now we have one point one three million in the undesignated fund balance. Yeah, one million one hundred thirty thousand. One hundred thirty thousand, but that was as of the end of nineteen. And you're gonna you, <clears throat> you think that we're gonna add two hundred thousand because of um, being under budget? Right. And then you subtracting out the four hundred thousand for the police. Yeah. That leaves 930,000, which okay. is 22 percent of our, our budget. Operating, operating budget. So why not put maybe another couple of hundred, maybe make it 600,000 for the police station? Then you're only going to have to have do no taxation whatsoever. 68,000 for taxation. <laughs> I, I think I, I, it's certainly an option, but I'd rather find out in October that because of the uh, school system or the county, that when we set the tax rate, we need to throw a couple hundred thousand dollars <coughs> at that and have it. Um, so if we're... Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to get Jack Widmer all in a twist over it either. <laughs> I think we need to have a certain amount of money so that there's a big bump by somebody outside of our control that we have some ability to go to with that. Well, the school budget, is, school budget is set. I mean, they know what they're going to be spending for next year. Perfect. I have no idea what the county's doing, but then again, nobody ever seems to know what the county's doing until it's yeah. done. But I think we can confidently either, it, whichever direction we go, I think we can confidently keep the town tax rate level or, you know, a, a minimum increase, if anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right. So. <clears throat> well, I guess I could probably, you know, cross my fingers and hold my nose and get that second $250,000 grant. I would just like to know what's in hand before we say, yeah, let's let's go ahead the way with the way it's being proposed right now. But I can't count. No. So sure. one of so, the under unintended consequences of COVID is we'll have a better idea by the time we get to town meeting. We'll have a definite idea by the time we get to town meeting. Mm -hmm. And if we were to obviously whether we go with this plan or with financing $600,000, if we were to get the grant in May before town meeting, or even after town meeting, whatever grant that comes in reduces the amount of money that you ultimately spend on the project. What are your <coughs> now, now here's a question for optics, if nothing else. Mm -hmm. How are we going to, uh, how are we going to prepare the Warren article because we know right now that we're not going to be doing the business portion. I say we know. I'm working on the assumption that we're not going to be doing the business portion of town meeting in March. We're going to be putting that off until the spring or early summer, correct? Right. Right. 
So how do we prepare the Warren article? Do we prepare the Warren article with, with uh, explanatory notes in the town in the town meeting or in the town report? Because we have to have something in the town report. Right. And it has, to, it has to pass muster with the RA. So you really have to construct the Warren article to be exactly what it is you want to do. And explaining at town meeting if you get a grant that you're actually modifying this by whatever amount the grant comes in. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't think I you know I you don't want to get too complicated on this, but, but well, we can't we can't because can't, can't do a word article in expectation of a grant. Right. So I mean you can point out how it's going to become a sweeter deal as it comes out. So we can't say that it's contingent in any way. I just we'll never be able to explain that in a very clear way. And you don't know what's gonna happen between now and May or June. I mean there may be yeah. additional public safety money that becomes available for whatever reason. I, you know, they're gonna try to throw a couple of billion dollars in or trillion dollars around. There may be right. more safety money. And we'll get stimulated. So, so uh, when will we be able to see the written warrants? We're working on that because we have to we have to send them into the Congress. But we're going to need that warrant. We need to have that by the fifth, right? For our hearing. Mm -hmm. right. So. Well, we need to actually have them, unless you want to do a long meeting prior to that, in order for you to vote on it. Because you have to. Vote I, on it. I would feel more comfortable if I could mm -hmm. read the warrant articles before I voted on them. Okay. That's me. Now, does that mean you want to read them and discuss them, or you just want to be able to read them before the hearing? Uh, well, we don't know if you're going to have to discuss it. We have to look at it. That was Gary, I was, I was I Gary, I was asking yeah. some question. Thank you. I think that Gary did answer for me. I would like to be able to have questions answered if I have them. And I just, I think there are too many ifs on this page for well, me there to approve There are ton of ifs. So that's. I don't know if we want to have an extra meeting before we go to town meeting or what we want to do. That's well, before the town meeting or before our hearing? Before our hearing. Yeah. Well, the hearing is scheduled for February 5th. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. that, that puts the burden, burden on to the selection, whether they can have their stuff together and their, their, their verbiage done before then, or do we have our discussion the night of the hearing? The, the night of the hearing. That's fine with me too. If we want to come in early before the hearing, and well, I don't think it's going to. We can we can do whatever is going to be whatever is going to be the most expedient thing to do. But as I say, it's going to be up to the selectmen to have their their verbiage is done, and I I don't know if you're going to. In a well, two-week window, we're going to be able to get it to DRA and get it back and say this is the way it's okay. Yeah, I mean, six of the seven more articles that we're proposing are pretty straightforward. Right. I mean, the paving one, the SCBA, those things are, are pretty straightforward. Mm. The confusing one or the, or the questionable one that you may want to chat about, I think it's the police station. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, mm -hmm. I'm sure that we can have all of this done by meeting Monday. We got the rest of this week. And the next week. That's kind of when we get the how many days of January 31? Yes. So 29, 30, 31. One night in my phone. Like three weeks away. Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks away. It is, um, the, um, I thought our meeting was on the 9th of February. I have a game. Oh, yeah.
Uh, I'm sorry, it is the ninth. It is the ninth. And that's in three weeks. So we got three, three weeks to pull off. Yeah. Okay, so we have. Here's 19. Uh, two weeks. <coughs> what day of the week is the ninth? Tuesday. 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 The okay, meeting schedule so for Tuesday was Wednesday for a snow day. Do you think you could have everything ready for us if we needed to meet on the 2nd of February? Sure. Which is also Groundhog Day. Thanks, Bob's gallery. Just be repeating. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that's a good goal to go out there. So why don't we do that? I'm not, we'll, okay. we'll, uh, we'll pencil in that we will. If we need to, we'll meet on the second. Otherwise, we'll go for the ninth for the hearing. Okay. Does that work for everybody? Yes. Mm -hmm. yep. So between that, I mean, we've given you the sheet that kind of describes what's happening here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So between now and the end of the week or the first of next week, you have specific concerns, specific things that you need to have addressed. Send those to the uh, Kathy at the town office, and we'll make sure we. Well, so if we can answer as many questions prior to the meeting as we possibly can. I would just like to to read. You know, I'm I'm sure that a lot of these are going to be fairly boilerplate, mm -hmm. but in particular, I would like to see how the ones around the fire station, police station, um, police station, station. Police station. Right. come out. <laughs> Right, and that will give us an opportunity. I'll get Jack to <coughs> on bank rates so we can see what a payment schedule would be if we were to plan at $600,000. And when is the bond hearing? Uh, it's statutorily sometime in February. I don't know exactly when. We, we have to notice it by the 5th, I think. But it is the end of, <coughs> end of February. Bond hearing is the end of February. It's after your, um, okay. your budget meeting. I, I think Chip went on the, the finance night. What, what Gordon's saying, you saying know, that amount spread it out over five years. And then maybe that would help this year for some people that don't really need a little tax increase just because of the situation we're all in. Yeah, I don't think you know. They, I thought they might be going to help if this pandemic gets over. But this year they're hurting, but they may be back to their normal schedules. I'm not expecting a tax increase from the town, even if we did it this way. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it does maybe constrict our ability to drive the tax down in October if we do it that way. Because if we've got a I had a little trouble with my brother's selectman this year, but it was because this police station was leaning over our head. But I think having a million three in the bank is too much money for Tuffinboro. I mean, that's keeping the taxpayers' money for what? I think we really need to use that fund to keep moderating the tax rate so that we've got flat taxes, if you will, for so um, I'd like to. Do we need a? Um, no, we don't need a motion on this right now. To uh, to postpone confirming. No, because this is this is more an informational meeting because. Okay. And when we get to the hearing, then we will go through all this stuff, and then we will we'll have our formal votes for the total budget and the at the hearing and the Warren article. This was more of informational. Right. Okay. okay. And you have to understand that our, if, if there was significant resistance to any part of this, that's what I needed to find out tonight. Because this, if there's significant resistance from the budget committee over articles of the Warren, then let's change the Warren. And it doesn't make any sense for us to come up with that. No, I think it'll, 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 you know, speaking speaking for myself, you know, I'm acutely aware of what the situation is with the police department mm -hmm. and the facility. 
you know, do I have some mental reservations about the scope of the size of the building? Yeah, I've got some reservations about that, but that's nothing that, you know, couldn't be worked through in my own mind. But I really do have, I had reservations about how we're going to pay for it. And, uh, and I still do. Okay, so. Okay, I'm willing to, I'm willing to obviously work with yeah, well, 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 that's, I mean, not to protract this too much, but the grant that we're looking at may in fact come back with conditions that change the design a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that can slow the whole project down as well. So it's, and I'm not saying. Well, what, kind of what kind of conditions would they, I mean, what, what kind of grant is this that we're asking for where they would, you want us to change the design of the building? Well, it's not so much changing the design as it is qualifying for the grant by having the appropriate size space for what the grant is looking okay, for. Okay, I got it. All right, yeah. 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 I mean, you're not asking for a Bauhaus modernistic design versus a Right, right. That's, that's, what, that's what I was concerned about. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, would, that led to the question. I mean, we'll, I mean, as, as I keep thinking about the facility, I'm saying to myself, all right, when we met and we talked to the, the chief earlier in the, in the budget season about the, uh, the uh, on-person camera, right. okay? And the chief was saying, well, you know, there's, there's nobody telling us what to do. We don't know what to do. And so therefore, everything, but, you know, you can have somebody come out and say, well, this is what you have to have for a police station. Right. Depending upon what your locality is, right. what your personnel is, you know. Sometimes I think I say, well, you know, common you know, common sense has to come into what recommendations are. So yeah, and if, if if the grant were for a quarter of a million dollars, let's say, but it added two hundred thousand or one hundred fifty thousand dollars to the cost, so it's not worth it. Right, right. It's not worth it. Yeah. Okay. But they don't do block yeah. grants, which would be nice. <coughs> so there is a certain amount of someone out there has done a study saying rural communities need X, Y, and Z in their public safety sector. And how are we supplying that? And if you can supply it to the police station, yeah. that's how you do it. Okay. Yeah. And how long is going to adjust your numbers to reflect the real legal cost, I hope? <laughs> yes, um, we need to talk about that because yeah. I need to change some on. Um, two weeks or five will have more articles for you. Well, you'll have them as we get them done, we'll have them sent to you that's supposed to be Yes. Okay, uh, can you email me a copy of your report? Um, yes, I That's can. not possible. Okay. I, I, yes, I'll do that. It's, what happens is that if I'm going to email it to you, I need to take out all the, the, um, all the things that pull it forward. And just that sounds like a lot of work. Why don't I just get a hard copy from you? I'll, I'll make some arrangements. I'll come over to your house and get a copy. Is that all right? Yep. If you let me know when you're going to come, if I'm there, fine. If not, I'll take it to the back door. Yep. Okay, okay moving on. Uh, the, the only other thing we had this evening was uh, as a when you asked me to be chairman, one of the things I told you was I hate reconsideration and that sort of thing. So, but I do think that we ought to have just one last conversation about the overall budget. And then, does anybody have anything that jumped out at them they want to they want to discuss further? I want to get it done before we, of course, obviously before we have our hearing. So, mm -hmm. I throw that out now for what it's worth. So, sure. Yeah. Show me right here. Okay, if you look at the on our legal expenses. Right. We're looking at the approved numbers. Right. Oh, excuse me. So 
So the 2021 request was 40, but the 63,700 is what this number you came up with. But on your chart, you know, no, the number on the chart reflects the 63,350, which is what we approved. But I don't know how that breaks out into the line. There's um, $350,000 that I need to take out of one of those lines. Right. The <coughs> legal line we have here right. has 40100 for financial 20,500 for planning and zoning, and 2750 for cemeteries and conservation. So it's missing the um, trustee of the trust fund $600 on this. Trustees of the trust funds. Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. Well, the number that we approved was $63,350, which is this number right here. Okay. So I need to know if, 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 you, if I have it in the right lines here. This, the next $63,350 is what the budget committee approved. Didn't we just take $500 out of the uh, legal trustee or the trust fund line? Mm -hmm. Well, it's off by $350. Oh, fuck. Take, five, oh, take $500 out of Say it again, Greg. I thought that what I was talking about was just reducing the line item for the legal trustee of the trust fund by $500, but leaving the, the line item in place for $100. Mm -hmm. And that's how we came up with the 63350. Now, if there's another error in here, I can't see it. I well, don't if, have that information. If I, if I reduce that by $500, I come up with $63,200. Right. So I, it, it doesn't add up. If you. Right. It doesn't. In $150. If you look at the um, changes that you made, the general legal is 40,000, and cemetery you approve, we've got a, your approval at $600 for the cemetery and $600 for the trustee and the trust fund. Now maybe that trustee of the trust fund number is wrong on what uh, Diane gave us. I don't know. I mean, yet, if you go through the minutes and figure out what we actually did, it changed. Well, um, right, yeah, the, uh, I just noticed on the, um, under 2020 expended, that legal number is different here than what she had the first time. Yeah. If she's but do you know what they approved for the legal? In the minutes, I don't. In the minutes, it says sixty-three thousand three hundred fifty dollars. Right. Okay, so we're three hundred and fifty dollars wrong on this printout from Diane. Right. Okay, okay and where's the three hundred fifty dollars coming from? And I don't have. Uh, all I have is what got approved. I okay. don't have exact, and I do have that we wanted to reduce the trustee of the trust fund to a hundred, but I don't have anything else in there that will get me to where we need to be. Okay, so that would make the total budget four million one hundred ninety five thousand six hundred dollars, and I guess it's up to the Budget committee to decide where the three hundred fifty dollars is coming out. Of. You're going to take it out. Of. What do you want to read it? Right. Well, we approved the bottom line. I prefer not to change the bottom line. I just want to know what line that should come out of. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yep. So I will make those changes. I can't remember where I put them, but in here, the total um, legal line is correct. So it may, let's see, the ZBA, the trustee of the trust fund, ZBA is in the planning and zoning line. And the cemeteries and conservation is, oh, and the legal, the trust funds will probably be. It's got to be in here somewhere because I'm holding it. Anyway, I will make that that change. Er, the budget committee is not concerned. You've we, opened up the can of worms that is the legal portion of the budget. You can do the whole thing if you want. I mean, it doesn't matter to me. Well, that's but up to everybody else. I, 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 I am not asking to open up the whole thing. I'm just asking to make sure that I have my accounts proper based on what we approved. And so, it's your understanding that they approve 6300 or 60? That's what it says in the minutes. Okay. So, because I would say if, if there's any confusion, then you need to make a motion to change those line items and get to that 60, 60, 60. Oh, well, we, uh, we motion 63, 350, and we approved 63, 350. Okay. We did not approve that right, line by line. We did approve that. Okay. No, you, you approved the total. Yes. And they were going to adjust this. And I just want to make sure that we still have the same total. Yes. Okay. So I don't think there's a motion. No. We do the numbers on the two different line items. Okay. Okay. I, I, I agree. That's all you can do. Okay. So, um, in looking at the budget, as it stands right now, now the numbers that I have for the actual for 2020 mm -hmm. are the from the run that we have, which was uh, January 3rd, I believe, which is, um, and Diane was not in today to give us, oh, January 8th, to give us the most recent one, but she keeps getting bills and she will continue to get bills that impact this number for another couple of weeks, but it won't be materially different. So what we're looking at for our budget is a 13% increase over spending of this year and a 2% increase over last year's budget. So total budget that we have right now is $4,195,600. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the, there are no material changes in how it goes to the departments, how it goes to salaries and benefits for buildings or equipment or road maintenance. Everything is pretty consistent with last year. It's just kind of a, an overall increase in every line item. Well, that was the the library number from again. Um, I got it from when it was presented to us. When did we get the library number? If we had 260 presented, I'm looking at 294. Um, are you not, where are you are, looking we at? Are, we're, we're not showing the outstanding revenue then, are we? No. Okay, thank you. That's where I come from. And this also includes the um, maintenance of the outside of the building, mm -hmm. $2,600, which is not in the specific. That's a decent deal. 
They had a $77,000 increase, but a $60,000 increase in revenue because of were projections. Next year, it will be another $50,000 because hopefully the next year our cell phone, cell tower contracts go on. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have another $50,000. So is there anything else that anybody uh, any issues with the thought need to be re you know, have to be discussed again, second thought, whatever? I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. Okay then. Moving on, there are no correspondence. Uh, so that update, Chip. Yeah, we've already talked about this evening. Yeah, that's, I don't think so. It's a pretty well played out. Okay. I'm not, we're not looking at any serious change. I mean, reading through the legislative notes, et cetera, I don't see anything coming down the line that's going to impact the budget. All right then, so our next meeting, we are, we've just discussed that our hearing, our hearing is going to be on the, on the, uh, on February 19th, or excuse me, February 9th. February 9th of the Do we feel that we need to have a meeting on February 2nd then? I, I think we should get together and look at the um, warrant articles. Good. Very good then. So we're going to have, we're going to schedule a meeting now for February 2nd, mm -hmm. which is actually showing up in our, uh, in our, uh, our budget meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so we'll do February 2nd at 6.30. Okay. Okay. Public input. I'm forthcoming, then I will entertain. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have moved and seconded. Barry. Aye. Chip. Aye. Gary. Yep. No. Yes. Bob. Yes. Penny. Yes. Turbo five. Thank you. So um, I will bring.